My love for the OA is something that's hard to define, like the border between worlds. The OA is a show that touched me so profoundly, and yet I can't really pinpoint why. I watch a lot of TV shows, but none of the shows I've watched have stuck with me quite like this one. It's so weird, and it should be goofy and ridiculous, but somehow it isn't. It works. It's beautiful and profound, and makes us believe in things that are invisible, but that link us all. It humanizes people, and in a world where media loves to portray good and bad as two very separate things, it's a breath of fresh air. It somehow told me things that I didn't know I wanted to hear, but that I desperately needed. That it's hard to connect, that we all feel isolated and alone, that everything around us is connected, and listening to what surrounds you is important, that connection is important. Because we are all to each other. if you haven't watched The Away yet, I cannot recommend it enough. Even though its cancellation left me really, really sad, like sadder than I've ever been for any TV show cancellation ever. And I've been through a couple. The two seasons already out are worth it though. It's so different from anything else that's out there, yet it tells the story of something we can all relate to, I think. It's something so universal. So obviously this review is going to be overwhelmingly positive. It's going to be more of a love letter if we're being honest. Because I love this show dearly. And to me, it's a 10 out of 10. And I want it back, please, Netflix. Netflix, please, if you're listening, I want it back. So this review will be spoiler free so that people who haven't watched it can get a very biased opinion and get the chance to experience the show by themselves. Because honestly, the show is an experience. Also, as you might have noticed, I started drawing an illustration that includes like important elements from the show. Non-spoilery, of course, don't worry. Um, because I love art and I love TV shows. So there we go. Here's my spoiler-free review slash love letter to the OA as I draw it. Okay, so let's start with a quick summary. So the OA is the story of a blind girl named Prairie who goes missing and is found seven years later with her sight back. So we learn her story as she decides to tell it to a group of high school boys and their teacher. She tells them about what happened in her childhood as well as in the seven years she disappeared. And honestly, I don't want to say more than that because learning what the story actually is about is just mind-bending and amazing and it's an experience my dudes okay i really want to talk about the characters because my god they're all so well written like they're all so human in the best way possible they all have flaws weaknesses aspiration and most importantly they have hope all the characters describe the human condition so well and in all its forms it's amazing There's the character of Steve, who is mistreated by the world, who was molded by it, who is a result of it. He's violent and cynical, and yet he has a profound need to connect, like all of us, I think. His relationships at the start of the series are all superficial, and everyone just sees him as the troubled kid, and has abandoned hope of making him a productive member of society. In another show, Steve would have probably been the one-dimensional bully that's just there to be punished at the end, but not this show. This show is about hope and change and getting better. And those themes never shine as bright as in Steve's character. He learns to connect to others, but more importantly, he learns to connect to himself. He matures and he grows into something imperfect, but deeper. Even Prairie, or the Away, as we learn to call her, from her dialogue to her mannerism, is seen as this kind of mysterious being with a deep understanding of the world and people, but she's still so human. She feels deeply and seems to connect with ease. She's amazingly kind and makes an impact in the lives of the people she chooses to share her secrets with. She is a force to be reckoned with, and she'll fight you with kindness and love. But she still makes mistakes. She's uncertain, she's scared and emotional, 
but none of those things are bad because they're all so deeply human. She seems to know so much, but she also know nothing, Jon Snow. This show is basically rewriting a story that's been told a million times, and that hasn't changed since its beginning. It's rewriting the hero's journey into something new and innovative, and this couldn't be done without the always character. Even the so-called baddie of the series is doing what he thinks is right. He's thinking of the greater good, and the bad things he does to get to his goal weigh on him, but not enough to stop him. He's ruthless, smart, cunning, and some might say evil, but again, he's very human. There are so many characters I want to talk about because they're all without a doubt masterfully written. There's Scott, whose character growth has warmed my heart. Homer, whom we learn to love through the eyes of the OA. BBA, who learns to hope again. Buck, whose experience needs to be shown more in media. And honestly, so many more. But that's for you guys to discover. I don't want to ruin it for you. <laughs> Go watch the show. Go do it! I want to talk about the visuals for a second, because they're honestly just so stunning. Every frame is like a painting, masterful and significant, so much so that I had no idea what to draw, since basically every scene was memorable. Everything feels like it means something, like it has double meaning. So much thought was put into every scene, it brings the whole thing like beautifully together. Every person working on this show is an artist. The colors feel so fitting and follow the narrative so well. There's a clear distinction between part one and part two that's more than just like adding a filter in post-production. The entire feel is different. It's like there's a deeper meaning in every scene. The art direction fits incredibly well with the story that Brit and Zell want to portray. Every prop looks like it belongs there, and the imagery often has double meaning. The VFX artists did a wonderful job as well, bringing to life concepts that are so new, weird, and abstract. Coming up with ways to show those things on screen couldn't have been easy, so kudos to those guys. You might have noticed that I didn't talk about the story too much. And that's because, honestly, it's so out there that it's hard to explain without spoiling it. But I can say this, it's one of the most original piece of content I've ever had the pleasure to watch. It's not even content, it's like more than that. And I know I probably sound a bit insane, but like really, it's an experience. It's revolutionary, it's new. And I don't know, I've just never been that connected to a story, and a story has never influenced the way I look at the world as much as the OA has. And I know I'm not the only one who feels that way. I know because there's a whole community of fans who are just as intense as me about their passion for the show. Some are way more intense than me, and honestly, I love it. They come up with the wildest theories, and I love them all. We all went a little crazy when the cancellation was announced, and we tried to find an explanation as to why the show might not have actually been cancelled. Basically, we were hoping the cancellation was part of the show. You'll get why if you watch the show, it's not as crazy as it sounds, okay? Even though now, most of us have accepted the reality that this is most likely not the case, we're still doing our best to save the show. We all just want to collaborate and find little easter eggs in the show and we all have hope for part 3. Some shows manage to come back after their cancellation like Sense8 and The Expanse, so maybe The OA can too. And that brings us to the last thing I want to talk about. Maybe it's not too late to save The OA. Like I said, the fans are amazing and none of us are ready to let the away go when the creators have five seasons planned. Five seasons, guys! The first two seasons are masterpieces and I really want to live in a world where three other seasons of this show exist. So, if you love the away and want it to renew, join us in our efforts to bring it back. Do the movements, tweet at Netflix, tell new people to watch the show, and head over to the Reddit page for more ways to hashtag save the away.
But most importantly, guys, let's not lose hope. Honestly, isn't it what this show's all about? Hope and not giving up no matter the hardships? That's what we have to remember. And you know what? Even if it never comes back, experiencing that show changed my life and that was worth it. Yeah.